Sounds like a bit of a bullpen day for the Brewers. Trevor McGill will get the ball. This will be his 27th game of the season. First start, first start ever as a professional. And of course, shut out in the first game of the series with Woodruff on the hill. That one drops in for a base hit, smothered in center field. A right center, that is, by Freelich. Here's Josh Bell. On the ground, back to McGill. He thought about second base, had it out, but instead got the sure out at first base. Jake Berger coming up now. Check swing, he went too far. Blocked by Caratini. Berger will give himself up. Jazz Chisholm is the hitter. And a bouncer to second base. Monasterio throws him out. And Braxton Garrett is going to get the ball tonight. This guy has really been as consistent as maybe any Marlins starter. 8 and 6 record at 382 earned run average. Left side. And Hampson throws across his body to get the out. One away. Here is William Contreras. There's a strikeout looking. First two down rather quickly. Here is Carlos Santana. And a base hit for Santana extends the inning, but then their schedule lightens up just a little bit. Still have three more against the Brewers down in Miami. Brewers get a runner with two down for Willie Adamas. Hey, gets the strikeout of Adamas. Colin Ray takes over here in the second inning. Last time we saw Ray on the mound was in New York. That was on Friday, four and two thirds innings, two hits, two runs. Check swing. Did he go? He did. And here's Brian De La Cruz. Swing and a miss by De La Cruz. Back to back K's for Colin Ray. Garrett Hampson is going to be the batter. Fly ball in the shallow right center. Monasterio's got it. to three up and three down and in. Two down now for Andrew Monasterio. Monasterio to straightaway center. Chisholm a long way back. It's over his head. It'll be an automatic double as a hit off of the batter's eye. Would have been a surefire triple for Monasterio, but hit over the yellow line for an automatic double. Yeah, he put he gave it put a charge into one last night off the top of the wall in left center. Just not enough to get it out of the ballpark, but gave that one a pretty good ride. Is it second with two outs here for Contreras? That's ball four. Monasterio holds up at second base. The ball popped away from Fortes. Two on for Santana. And a bouncer, Berger coming in, gets rid of it, and they get the out at first base. The Brewers strand a pair in the third. Not sure exactly what it is, but uh, live footage of Jazz coming out of the ball game right now after running down the first baseline. Something bothered him. Well, he hit the bag with his left foot, and while he was walking, I mean, you don't know if it's his hamstring, you see him grab the back of his leg while he was walking off with Skip. Yeah. He hit that bag awkwardly. Well, there were a few things in question, too, and it looks like he is, uh, in fact, coming out of the ball game right now. But it looked like he was also going after that uh, right toe at one right. point. Is that still bugging him? Was it something else? We're not sure. Uh, but now we'll keep our eyes and ears open. Here is Jesus Sanchez leading off the top of the fifth inning. <laughs> All right, we'll give you one. Sanchez lines into center field. There's a base hit. Brian De La Cruz is going to be the batter. Here it comes. No, I'm kidding. That one popped up off of first. And Santana makes the catch, falls into the dugout. And they say that he caught it and then went out of play. So Sanchez gets awarded second base. Second out in the inning. Xavier Edwards is coming up to bat. And maybe that's why. Base hit, left field. Here comes Sanchez around third. No play at the plate. Edwards out at second. But the run scores, and the Marlins break through. And the Marlins have taken a 1-0 lead at the conclusion of this top of the fifth inning. So one run on two hits. Brewers have first and second with nobody out. And the batter is going to be Joey Weimer. Down on strikes. Andrew Monasterio is the batter now. And a call, strike three. His fifth of the game, and back-to-back -back strikeouts. Up to William Contreras now. To short, Wendell smothers it, gets to his feet, throws to first to end the threat. Top of the sixth inning, Andrew Chafin is on now to pitch for the Milwaukee Brewers, and he's facing Joey Wendell, who's batting in the Chisholm spot. Bouncing ball. Monasterio's got it, and they get Wendell at first base. Here's Brian De La Cruz. 
This one out toward left center field. And off the wall. De La Cruz on his way to second, and it gets tangled up with the umpire. Mark Carlson setting an inadvertent screen right there. Gets a chuckle from Willie Adamas. Face Garrett Hampson here. De La Cruz at second after the double. Or you just rip it into the left field corner. Either way, that one gets down. It'll score De La Cruz. Garrett Hampson to second. RBI double, and it's 2-0. Uh, that was a great piece of hitting. That was a fastball. It was a sinker. Supposed to be inside. You see where this pitch is. It's in, but not in far enough. Nice job by Hampson. One hops that left field wall. Good insurance run right there for the Marlins. Low for ball four. Tying run is on for Joey Weimer. And he elevates the fastball to get the strikeout. Second one of the inning, a big out number two. Up to Andrew Monasterio. Robertson deals and gets the strikeout. Three Ks in the inning. The Brewers come up empty. The Brewers have had the leadoff man on a lot tonight, but don't have anything to show for it just quite yet. Trying to change that narrative here in the eighth as Santana comes to the plate. Slow roller. Nardi off his glove. It's a base hit. And Willie Adamas is the hitter against Nardi. Bouncing ball toward the second base bag. Edwards starts the double play. That's a big one. And now it's going to be up to Donaldson here. Check down at first, and they say he went around. The Brewers had men at first and second with nobody out here in the bottom of the eighth inning, and they come up empty. That's the second out in the inning. Down to their final shot now. It's Joey Weimer. This one tapped in front of home plate. Fortes with the throw. And they get the out at first base. It's a Marlins win. A real big win. Now you're half game out of that third wild card spot.